Hey guys, so today I am going to the jewelry store that I have gone to since I was a kid. Everything I wear that's real gold has come from this place. So he agreed to get me a push present and I decided that I wanted jewelry. <laughs> he hates me. And right now we're about to go to one of my favorite food spots here in Corona. It's called La Cabaña. Um, and I'll show you guys the food, it's delicious. Okay, so we're back home now and we're actually gonna build the baby's crib. Our cribs are uh, from Baby Lito, Baby Leto, I hope I'm saying that right. Okay, so we're going to Jerez Jewelry here in Corona, Queens, where I grew up. Um, I'm gonna go and check out some rings because Morgan is getting me a push present, well, two push presents for these twins. Um, and I decided I wanted a name ring and a second ring to accessorize. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna take you guys with us so I can shop for some rings. That feels good. Yeah. Yeah, that feels good. Yeah, and it's summer. This is the biggest my finger is gonna get. Yeah, yeah. I'm pregnant. Yeah, I thought about that more than I thought about the summer. I thought about the point of the Yeah. A size less later on. Right, exactly. But that's not bad. I like that. If anything, I can, at least I can wear it here then. So it's interchangeable. Yeah, yeah. So we're okay, perfect. Go with the nine and a half. Nine and a half. But I like this swirl better than that one. Yeah, this so is like hers, but this is just that one swirl. Yeah. Swirl. Yeah, like do something where it's just one swirl. But we're white at the bottom. I placed the order for my name ring. I'm so excited. I feel like the second ring that I want, I need more time to decide on and pick a design that I like. So I'm going to come back and do that another time. But I'm so excited. So yeah, I feel like for the second ring, I need more time to decide, even though I saw one that was really cute. But I'm gonna make that decision a little later on. Right now, we're about to go to one of my favorite food spots here in Corona. It's called La Cabaña. Um, and I'll show you guys the food, it's delicious. I took those butterfly clips out of my hair because I felt like I looked five years old. <laughs> they were cute, but I felt like now that my face is getting chubbier because of the pregnancy, like those clips on my face, when I saw um, myself in the video, I was like so, so excited about getting this ring because I've been wanting a name ring like my entire childhood. My mom got me um, this nameplate and she also got me my name bracelet, which I wear all the time. And she got it from that jewelry store, but I never had a name ring. And even though I've had multiple rings growing up, I used to lose them all the time, um, my clumsy ass. And if you grew up in the 90s, you know that like having your, your name played and things like that, like that was super iconic. We're on our way back home now. We decided not to eat at the restaurant because it was kind of crowded and it just felt a little risky and we weren't comfortable, so we're gonna eat at home and I'll show you guys um, the food that we got. It's so good. It's basically like Dominican, like fried food, like fritura. Wee! Look at this bump, babe. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> not me, <laughs> not me saying we. That's the twins saying, yeah? That's the twins. The twins are gonna be happy that I'm getting this food and watch. We got patelitos oh, yeah. too. It's, it's about, about to be... To their roots. <laughs> yeah when i was in my first trimester that's all i wanted so i wanted dominican food oh one of my, my first it's cravings yeah one of my first cravings was actually la cabaña i remember i asked leana to drive with me remember i was like <laughs> oh lay come with me because morgan was working and i got a random craving to come get this food so um definitely coming back to that i i remember everything i wanted was just dominican food so they're definitely gonna like that and i wasn't even eating meat for like four months um, before I, I became pregnant. So they made me start eating meat again because I, I actually broke it by eating this. I wanted the fried chicken from La Cabaña. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited to eat this, it's bomb. <laughs> Look at this deliciousness. Oh my God. It's the fried skin for me. That's my favorite part. Mmm, the stone is looking crisp. Oh yeah, so good. The onions are my favorite part. Amazing. Okay, so we're back home now and we're actually gonna build the baby's cribs. They arrived yesterday. Our cribs are uh, from Baby Little. Baby Leto, I hope I'm saying that right. Been fangirling over it. All their cribs are really beautiful, great quality. And we decided to get two mini cribs 
because obviously we're having twins and we're gonna create a nursery nook for both babies in our bedroom behind me, which is a hot mess. But we wanted to make sure that to save space and also to be mindful of, you know, how much space two babies can take in terms of like gear and all that stuff. We're really excited to build that together today. The mini cribs that we got are able to work for their, for like the lifetime of the baby because it transitions into a toddler bed. It can transition into uh, a twin bed eventually as well. You buy the parts separately, I think, the accessories, but the point is that it does have longevity, which is a big plus for me when purchasing them so that I know, you know, they'll last longer than just like their first year, for example. So once we build the cribs and we put it all together in the nursery nook, we're gonna go ahead and show you guys the reveal and how it looks, because we also have all the crib sheets and all that stuff to put in the, in the crib. So we'll show you guys how that looks after. This is gonna be our nursery nook. We plan to put both cribs side by side so that they can still see each other and interact. I'm so excited seeing this here. Feels like everything is coming to life. Um, Morgan is building the other crib. So in the meantime, I'm gonna start putting the sheets on this one. So I got these sheets from Lambs and Ivy. One thing I will say, as much as I love the mini cribs, um, oh my God, I guess saw out of breath talking. As much as I love the mini cribs, I will say it's hard to find bedding for mini cribs. From what I saw in my research, there aren't a bunch of websites that sell them. So I was lucky enough to find one um, from this website, Lambs and Ivy, and I'll share the link in the description. What I love about it is that it's neutral because I wanted to make sure that the whole you know aesthetic for them is everything is neutral. So I was lucky enough to find something that was neutral on that website, but I will say that some of the items I did see, even though they were mini crib options, were like for boy or for girls, so it was hard to pick something neutral and also fit a mini crib. So just be aware of that for whoever's interested in getting a mini crib, just know that your options might be a little limited. The only thing I do like is that you can go on other websites like Amazon and find fitted sheets for the crib. So my biggest thing was finding a nice quilt and we have other quilts as mom knitted some some quilts for the babies as well so as long as i have a quilt that i can use often with different colors um, i did find crib sheets on amazon that were similar color patterns to this and they're neutral and just a bunch more colors on amazon so even though like it's hard to find a whole bedding set for the mini cribs i will say that finding fitted sheets is not that bad amazon actually sells them so that's what i did i got extra sheets from amazon but then i got the actual like quilt and bedding from this one website also this baby mobile you guys see here we actually made by hand with morgan's sister and liana and we literally went over to her house and we made this by ourselves by hand and it's so beautiful so we actually got to make a second one for the other baby i'm so in love with how it came out because it was made by hand by us um, and I'll probably share clips of that so you guys can see um, how we actually put that together because it was such a fun night and we were really geeked out about making our own baby mobiles for them so um, I'll show you guys a few clips of that as well.
look how cute this looks. I love that it's neutral. It fits in with all the colors that I plan to decorate their room eventually when we move them to their own nursery. These bears we actually got as a gift. They're vintage polo bears from the year 1999 and this one is from the year 2000. We will be using this twin bassinet um, next to our bed here. So this will be where they spend their first three months, maybe four, and then we plan to transition them into their cribs. I do plan to hang this over their crib. Like I said, we have, do have to make a second one for the other twin. And then this we actually got in Costa Rica and we plan to hang somewhere in their nursery or in our bedroom with some photos from that trip since it was our baby moon. I'm 31 weeks and I am so looking forward to meeting these babies. I'm really excited that we finally set this up. Obviously, I do plan to do more decorations and more things and I'll, I'll post the final video with everything complete later on on my channel. If you haven't checked out my previous video where I shared how I'm setting up their changing station and stuff on the other side of the room, make sure to check that out. I'll link it at the end of this video. I do plan to also wash everything. Right now I set everything up just to show you guys how I plan to have it. But obviously I gotta wash all their clothes, all their sheets and all that good stuff. So that's something else that we have planned for this month. We just wanted to get a head start on everything because with twins, you just never know when they can arrive. So August for us is like a red zone where we just don't know what to expect. Thank you guys for watching today and coming along with us on this journey. If you like what I'm sharing, please make sure to subscribe to my video and also like the video. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers, so I would really appreciate your support. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.